so if, if we go into centre of Leicester around the clock tower what again what was that like in the 1940s 50s well as you probably know now that's a totally pedestrianised well at that time it wasn't there was traffic going down all the roads Belgrave Gate Humberston Gate Church Gate up High Street um, up Granby Street that was all traffic um, my present wife used to work at a shop there called Marshalls and Snellgroves and I could drive down there sometimes on a Friday night because you finish late wait outside park outside wait for it to come out and take her home um, the, what, what about bus stops and trams in the centre? The in um, Humberston Gate used to be the old Lewis's stores. I don't know if you can remember that, but there used to be an old Lewis's stores there. And outside there used to be the sort of the main bus depot. It wasn't a bus depot. It was, they used to just use the side of the street. But most of the corporation buses, as they were then, they weren't. Um, privatised then, they were run by the corporation, we used to stop and uh, take, pick up passengers there. Um, when I first started work I had to go to school, I'd go to go work on a bus and I used to get off and get on a bus there. Um, there was also a very high class hotel called the Bell Hotel and on the corner of Charles Street and Humberston Gate was a store called CNA's and if you move back to going back towards the clock tower, when the trams were running, there used to be a tram depot that used to go in between the shops and was right at the back of the shops where they used to actually keep the trams overnight. Um, so the Bell Hotel, that that was where the Haymarket Shopping Centre is now. That's right, that's where the Haymarket Shopping Centre is now. And actually there were some more hotels. If you go around the uh, from the top of Humberston Gate, round into Belgrave Gate, right at the top end there, there used to be two hotels there, one called the George and one called the White, what was it called, the White, I forget what it was actually called now, it was called the White something, but there used to be two quite big hotels there as well. So when, when would they have dated back to? Oh, they were kind of Victorian. Yeah, I would imagine they would be Victorian hotels, yeah, definitely. <laughs> 